My name is Robert Griffith and I'm the instructor for CSE 201, Introduction to Windows Applications. Um, I try to do these kind of video introductions to give people a better idea of who I am and to make the experience a little more personal. Sometimes these online classes can feel kind of cold, feels like you're out there on your own and you know you never really see who your teacher is. Um, which kind of brings me to another point. Um, some people do fantastic with online learning environments, um, such as this, and some people have a lot of difficulty. So, if you um, if you're somebody that needs a lot of like, you know, step by step instruction, someone clarifying everything or not everything, but a lot of things, um, you might want to consider a face to face class. Um, online classes are geared more for people who already feel pretty comfortable um, in the environment especially with computer classes um, and they, they they have a lot more personal assistance personal touches to them um, in an online class I'm more of you know the guide on the side where I will be showing you where things are telling you about things um, giving you work assigning things whereas in a face-to-face -face class, they're more of the sage on the stage, if you will. They're the person standing there and explaining things, going over them over and over if the class doesn't get it. Um, especially if there's, you know, sometimes there's a one difficult section, and if you're face-to-face, -face, you can kind of see that, you know, oh, they're not getting this. But in online, it's just kind of one of those things you roll the dice and you hope that everybody gets, you know, as much of it as they can. Okay, so a little bit about me. My name is Robert Griffith, as I said. Um, I've been teaching at Mendocino College since about 1997 or 1998. Um, I actually started working with Mendocino College back in 86 as a computer lab aide just out of high school and spent five years doing that. Um, went away to college, came back and started teaching for Mendocino College and um, I really love it. Um, I love the students, I love the staff, I love the school. And um, I also am currently full-time um, at Kelseyville High School, um, where I teach computers and business. Um, I also taught at Ukiah High School for six years. Um, my classes that I teach include Photoshop, 3D graphics, web design, multimedia, video editing, programming, etc. So I, I've done a quite a, a variety of things. All right, I also have five children of my own. Um, two just graduated from high school. Uh, one is in 10th grade this next year. Uh, one is in 5th grade and one is four months old. And um, so that keeps us busy. And we live in Kelseyville, California. We love it here. Okay, so about the textbook. Um, we have a new textbook this semester. It's called Microsoft Office 2010 Marquee Series by Paradigm Publishing. And it looks like this. And there will be links to it on the website. Um, while it does come, it's expensive if you buy it new. Um, there's a lot of copies used that I've seen on Amazon and you know those types of bookstores. Um, and I just think it's a better book than the book we've been using over the last couple years. And it kind of focuses more on the things that you really need to know, instead of a lot of fluff, I, in my opinion, that the other textbook covered. Um, you will need to have the textbook, um, and we're going to be moving pretty quickly. So if you don't have the textbook, you'll need to find someone to buy it from or borrow it from, because the instructions and the assignments will be in the textbook. Um, I will be pointing out, you know, do assignment number six or something from the textbook on page whatever and you'll need to have the textbook to know what the assignment is okay so about the class we're going to have six weeks to encompass the entire course the entire semester of this whole microsoft office applications thing um, it's kind of broken down into the first week we'll be doing just general stuff. We're going to be doing how to use Windows, how to use email, how to use the internet, things like that. Um, maybe talk about viruses or other kinds of security problems. Um, and then we're going to move forward into week two. Week two will be Microsoft Word. 
And it's not just learning how to you know type, it's going into word processing and, and underlining and centering and bolding and you know doing drop caps and you know just a variety of things in Microsoft Word. Week three will be Microsoft Excel where we're going to be learning a lot about spreadsheets and how to do formulas and um, you know again we've only got a week to cover an entire unit like Microsoft Excel so we're going to be doing a lot of work and we're going to be working really fast. So what does this class encompass? We have six weeks to cover the entire semester course in Microsoft Windows applications. Um, in this case we're focusing on Microsoft Office but the, the ideas, the techniques, um, will work with other word processors and spreadsheets as well, which we'll talk about. Um, the first week is kind of the introduction week, and that's learning to use etudes, getting around the system, emailing, chatting, um, using the internet, uh, and basic computer hardware, software, antivirus, etc. It's still a pretty full week. All right. Week two is Microsoft Word. All right, Microsoft Word is word processing, obviously, but we're going to go into some more of the advanced Microsoft Word functions. Um, and then we get to week three, which is Microsoft Excel. Excel is spreadsheets, calculations, things like that. We're going to be creating tables, charts, um, a variety of things. It's a great program. Um, it's, it's going to be tough, though, because, again, we have one week to do all of Excel. Um, and then we have the week after that, where I believe the week after that is going to be Access, and Access is a database. And some of that can get kind of tricky. Um, I'm going to try to do some video tutorials and such to help kind of explain what some of those are. Um, but it's, you know, we got one week to do it. So there are, there are entire semesters devoted just to Access, and entire semesters devoted just to Excel. So doing it in a week is going to be tough. All right, and then after Access, into week five, we get to PowerPoint. And PowerPoint is a presentation tool, and um, I think you'll find that it's going to be pretty easy to get through. Uh, it's probably the one that people enjoy the most as well. And then finally, week six is the final. And that is just kind of finishing stuff up, any last minute stuff, and doing the final. All right? So it's a lot to cover, so please don't let yourself get behind, because if you get behind, you won't finish. Um, I have a you know, we all, in, when we teach these online courses that does an entire semester of a course in six weeks, there's a pretty high attrition rate. So people do, you know, let things go because they think they're going to do it all the last few days of school. And if you do that, it's going to be almost impossible. So about ETUs. I've used a variety of platforms to do online instruction before. Etudes is down near the bottom of my favorites, but it, it's getting better. Um, it works. We just have to learn the little idiosyncrasies of Etudes. Um, and it, it's got some good functions. There's a chat room built in, which I think you'll find is helpful um, when you're communicating with your classmates. I really recommend um, jumping into the, the chat room and seeing if anybody's in there to bounce ideas off of or problems. Um, if you're one of those people that's just comfortable with all this stuff and you already know what you're doing, I would ask that, you know, spend a few minutes to just hang out and see if you can help somebody. Um, as an online instructor dealing with 30-something students over the next six weeks, I'm not going to be able to be on at all hours of the day every day for the next six weeks. So if you're there at some times and I'm there at other times, um, you know, try to help each other out. A lot of times, it's just something that maybe somebody reads wrong, and they're, they're not understanding what the question is asking, and somebody else can say, oh, all, all they're looking for is, you know, this kind of a formula. Um, so, you know, you'd be surprised how much you'll be able to help others. Um, the other thing is, it's a little jumbled in trying to find things, and I used to, like, I eliminated almost all of the um, links on the side in favor of putting everything in the message board, but I've been asked this semester to try to make my classes look more like other teachers classes so you might see some things that are kind of a little bit not working as well as they should and that's because I'm trying now the day before the class starts to get those things to balance um, so anyway if you have any questions please let me know as soon as possible alright if you um, feel like you're falling behind don't panic let me know 
um, I'll tell you whether it's time to panic or not. So again, check out my site, check out the emails, and ask for help if you need it. Thank you very much, and I hope you do well. Thank you.